We're getting an inside look into a high stakes job rarely talked about in public. Lexington native Terry Hatton made a lot of money scalping tickets and he has quite a few stories about that process. He joins us today to talk about his book, Kentucky Hustler. Thanks for joining us today. Guys, thanks for having me. It's been, you know, I've, I was an intern here yeah. 35 Whoa. years ago. Ooh, all right. And uh, I actually finished second in a hotly contested intern of the year contest. Oh. There was only two of us. Your TV uh, career didn't, didn't. Me and Steve pan Moss, out. and Steve yeah. Moss won, and he's been here. <laughs> Steve's still here. He's yeah. still, still here. So who's that's the, why we're still Steve. Winner, right? I will say before we get started. So a lot of times we get books, and then you know sometimes we'll kind of skim through them. Sometimes they get read. Sometimes they don't. Yesterday she comes to me and she goes, "Have you read the book?" I'm like, "Well, you know, I'm just." Looking. He she's said like, he wasn't going to. Just well, so I don't. You're know. Right. Well, I hadn't yet, and, and mm -hmm. she's like, "You need to. You need to." Because she's. Yeah. So we both started started getting into it. Yeah, it's just it's a it's a page turner. Awesome. Glad you're liking it. It's pretty cool. You write with such candor. I have trouble believing half these stories are real. <laughs> well, so my life's kind of been one of those deals. Where you can't really believe some of this stuff that's happening, but it's all real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put something out. That, when I talked to Jeremy Rice and Travis Pilling, who helped me write the book, mm -hmm. rule number one is it has to be the truth. That's, yeah. that's the only thing I would stand by. So It, it reads like you know, an old family friend's telling you some stories. The and that's and so the, that makes it really easy. That's the talent of Jeremy Rice. Mm -hmm. So I tell stories. He makes it so it's when you're reading the book, it sounds like it's coming from me. He's really a genius when it comes to writing. Did he come to you? Did you go to him? How did this even come about? So the funny thing is, Travis Pilling, who wrote the foreword for the book, uh, he worked for me about five years in the ticket business, and we were doing a, a an event either in Zurich or Paris or Berlin or something. But anyway, so he, he stays over there after the event and he starts writing an, a, an article for a magazine about his five years with me in the, in the business. Next thing you know, it gets published and he starts getting a call from Netflix and AMC, the show that did Better Call Saul. And it's like, they want us to write a book about more stories and turn it into a series. So the process is already happening and it's been a really fun ride. There's an interesting story in there about somebody pays you $20,000 for two tickets, but then when you go back to count the money, it's more than $20,000. Yeah, what you so did a guy paid me 21000 for a pair of, it was the final four tickets yeah. the UK was in, in, uh, in the Meadowlands, New Jersey. He paid me $21,000. we would agreed on 20000 and so I went back to the room and counted the money. It was a thousand too much. I took him the thousand dollars back. And what it led to for me by being honest and turning yeah. back that money was uh, it led to a whole new wave of the industry for me. Well, where can people find this book and where can they meet you? You've got a couple signings coming up. Yeah, so uh, I'd love to meet people. We're going to court days on uh, f Friday through Monday. Uh, so my dad grew up. Uh, in Bath County, so the Mount Sterling is fairly close, and so we're going to be there every day and signing books and stuff like that. And then uh, we have the Kentucky Book Festival uh, that's at Joseph Beth on October 29th, and they've invited uh, me to be there. There's going to be about 100 authors, there and I can't, I can't wait. I feel like we could spend an hour talking about this. Didn't even get into your dad, Vernon Hatton, right. famous yeah. basketball player. Exactly. Lots of stuff going on there, but yeah, uh, good read. Thanks for coming Thank in and talking to us. Appreciate it, guys. Really had a good time.